In this video, I wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about customizing FM Starting Point. Now first off, I have a copy of FM Starting Point right here, and I want to go ahead and customize a section of the Contacts module right here. Now we got a call the other day from a user of FM Starting Point who wanted to put a survey into FM Starting Point. They were emailing or making phone calls to people in their contacts database. They wanted to have a way of tracking the survey information they collected for each of the contacts. So this is a perfect area where you want to customize the contacts module for your particular needs. So first off, you've got a couple options here. The first thing you need to do is decide where you want to put the fields. How important are the fields? So are these new fields of information super important? If they are, you might want to rearrange things up here. Do you need the image of the contact? If not, you could delete this right here and make room right here. Another option is to look down here into the secondary navigation area. This is this tabbed area down here. Most business solutions that people set up don't use all these areas down below. So for example, communications and notes are typically pretty important. Contacts in the same account or in the same business are sometimes important. So let's for the moment assume that we want to keep those. But in this situation, let's assume that we don't use estimates or quotes. So this is an area here that we can use to build our survey. So I can jump into layout mode right here. I can also make the change up here under view. Layout mode here with command or control L and I can jump back to browse mode right here. So in the future I'll use keyboard shortcuts, but I wanted to show you how you can do this manually right here. So I've jumped into layout mode right here. I'm going to click on the Estimates and Quotes tab. In fact, I'm going to double click this right here. Now double clicking this tab brings up all the tabs that we have, and I see that right here I have Estimates and Quotes. I'm going to change this to Survey, and I'm going to say Rename. I'm going to say OK and it renames it like that. Now what I also want to do is I'm going to double click it again and I want to say that the survey is also the top priority important item and I want it to show up first in the list. So I can put it up here at the top. I can also say that the default front tab is going to be survey. So every time we pop onto this screen the survey tab will always be visible first. So now the survey tab is over here the inspector allows us to customize objects on our layout. Now notice that I have a little bit of weird rounding here or square edges in our tab and by going over here to appearance I can go over here and select these different tabbed areas here and customize how these tabs are going to look. I'm not going to get into the finer artistic details of this layout. I just want to get the survey going. So the next thing I need to do is clean up this layout and I first have to clean up and take out the trash. So I can click on objects and then delete them by clicking the delete key or I can grab a whole group of items by holding down the command or control key and then selecting a whole group of items like this and then pressing the delete key that gets rid of all those items. So now I have a blank area for me to create my survey. The next thing I need to do is actually create the field for my survey questions. I'm going to go to File, down to Manage, over to Database. Here we can see the Manage Database dialog for FM Starting Point. I'm going to go ahead and type in here, Survey Question 1. I'm going to say that's a text field, Survey Question 2, Create, Survey Question 3, Create, Survey question four. I can define these generically in here for now. Let's just say I'm going to have four survey questions and select OK. Now frequently with FileMaker, FileMaker will save new field definitions at the bottom of the layout and it's probably done that here as well. In fact it has but it's made them black and largely invisible so I'm going to go ahead and use my mouse to select an area here to find these and their labels and drag them up here. And here we go. We have survey question one, survey question two, 
3, and 4. Now I'm going to drag it over here so I have a little bit more room. I'm also going to drag this area back up here so we're not wasting any unnecessary space. The other thing I want to do is specify that the survey question one is how many pets in the household? Say we're taking a survey for a pet food company. I know some people who actually use FM Starting Point manage pet stores. So now that I have the fields on the layout here, I can go back into browse mode. I'm going to press Command or Control B and I'm in browse mode. Notice my inspector disappears over here. But what's more interesting is they're this plain boring field. So if I was going to go in here, I could use them. They're not as handy as they could be made. So how many pets in this household for, I have to type that in, do they like to buy canned cat food, yes or no? I have to type yes or no or that kind of thing. It could be made easier. Tell us about your cats. Well, this might be a paragraph of text, right? So we're going to tell us about your cat. I love my cat. It's the cutest cat I ever had. I like to buy premium cat food. Or maybe the cat is an outdoor cat. I hate my cat. I never feed my cat. The cat eats mice outside. I never buy nice food for the cat. The cat eats wild critters all the time. So maybe that's a paragraph of text, right? But then we only see the first line. So the formatting there isn't ideal either. So we need to come up a way of properly formatting the survey to really make use of FileMaker. So I'm going to go back into layout mode. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to spread these questions out just a little bit. Give us a little maneuvering room. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at how many pets in the household. Now I have predetermined that that's going to be a number answer. It's always going to be 1 through 10. So I'm going to go ahead, click on this field. I'm going to go up over here to the control style. Now by default, an edit box is where you just click into a field and you type an answer. But I'd like to see a pop-up menu here. The slickest way of entering the information here. So a pop-up menu is where I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the type of menu I want to use, which is basically a menu where it's going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? Um, but there's a lot of pre-built menus in FileMaker. They're all over the place. So why don't we just define my own? So I'm going to say define a new menu. I'm going to say new. We're going to say survey question 1 pets. Custom values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pretty cool. So that's it. We have custom values here. We have survey question one pets. We say OK. It saves it right here under our manage value list. We say OK. So now up here we see pop-up menu selection. Before we had an edit box, now we have pop-up menu. We have survey question one. So now we go back to browse mode. And look what we have. We have a selection here. So I can select one of these items right here. Now what's interesting about this is I can also make this a checkbox set. So I can go back to browse mode and you can see now that I have checkboxes. Now this is a little bit small to see. So let's make this a little larger. I'm going to make this size say 16. That's a little nicer. So we have 10 like that. Now if you use checkboxes you can select more than one. And in this situation, it doesn't make sense to have this. So we could have three pets, or we could have four pets. So we don't really want checkboxes. So I'm going to go back to layout mode. I'm going to select the field. I really don't like checkbox set. Radio buttons are a possibility. Pop-up menu, checkbox set, radio button. That's our other option we have. Radio buttons only allow us to select one item. So as I select items, I cannot select more than one item. It only allows me to select one item. So in reality, the two best answers for selecting one item are a radio button or a pop-up menu. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little smaller, a lot more compact this way. I'm going to tell it the center of the answer. And so there we go. Now I'm going to make these other fields size 16 too, because I think that makes it really nice. Now the next question, do they like to buy canned cat food, yes or no? Now this is another one where we can define our own value list. This time I think a radio button set would be the way to go. I'm going to look down here in our pre-built value list that we have in FM starting point. See if there's anything that's predefined as a yes or no already in here. Oh, there it is. There's a yes or no right there already waiting for us. Now we have yes or no. I'm going to make this a little bit like that. 
And now we have our second question set up. Now, tell us about your cats. Now, that could be a paragraph, because some people could be kind of wordy about their cats. Now, we probably don't want to capture all the information, but some of the information might be useful. So I'm going to make this more of a paragraph, and I'm going to come over here and make it bigger. So remember we said this is a text box, right? So there we go. We have a text box of information. Pretty slick. Now what we can also do to make sure that we can scroll up and down here is I can come over here to this section right here and I can say include vertical scroll bar so if they really start to write a paragraph in here we can scroll up and down and get the rest of that information. So there you go. When I'm moving up and down here with precision, see it moving just a couple pixels at a time, I'm using the cursor keys on my keyboard. So if I grab my mouse and move it back and forth, it jumps because FileMaker is trying to automatically align things. But if I want to use precision alignment just a couple pixels at a time, I'm going to use my cursor keys on my keyboard. A little tip for you right there. And the last one. How often do you visit a pet store? Now this is another one where we can pick something off a menu. So I'm going to select pop-up menu. Now this one I know won't be an FM starting point. So I'm going to say new value list. I'm going to say survey question four. Custom values. Every day. That's a dedicated pet owner. Every other day. That's still someone who loves their pets probably too much. Twice a week. Once a week. Once a month. Once a year. Once a year is someone who forgot they even had a pet in the first place. So I say okay. We say okay. We have our question like that. And I go back to browse mode. And there you go. So how many pets are in the household? Five. Do you like to buy premium cat food? Yes. Tell us about your cats. I have a very fluffy, happy kitty. How often do you visit the pet store? Twice a week. So there you go. It's a basic survey that we've set up with FileMaker and FM Starting Point. All these things that we've set up right here in FM Starting Point can be taken and used on the iPad. So we can take the same layout right here on the desktop and take it over to the matching layout on the iPad. If I go and I pop open a new window right here, and then I jump to the layout for the iPad, I go to iPad, Contacts, Data Entry, and I go to Estimates and Quotes. This is the same tab that we recycled to build our survey. So we could delete this section out of here, we could rename this a survey, move it over here, then actually all we have to do is copy this section over here and paste it over here. It's pretty simple to do. And then it would be all set up to work on our iPad. So we could take the survey on our iPad out in the field. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to set up and use FM Starting Point and customize your own fields within this database.